Hey everybody, this is Steve here at ZeldaWiki.org, here with another rendering tutorial. Last time I showed you how to easily remove an image from a solid background, but often you will have an image that doesn't, which can make the process slightly more challenging. As you can see, I already have my image open, so go ahead and find a screenshot that seems easy to work with. I'd recommend this one though, so you can follow my steps and get the hang of the method. In the previous video, we used a tool called the Magic Wand Tool, which selects a region of similar pixels. But because we have a wide range of pixels with varying shades and colors, that method cannot be used effectively. This time we will be using the Paths tool, which is a bit different, so I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. First off, let's check our settings in the toolbox accordingly. You should have Design selected and Polygon deselected. So to begin, we want to zoom in enough that we can get a better glimpse at the edge of our target, likewise. Once we're good, we want to find a good place to make our first dot, so I'll be starting at the grip of the Master Sword. Click wherever you want to start, and find the next spot to place it. Continue this method, so on and so forth, while watching where I place my points. Also, you'll find with some areas that you need to drag the point to make a curve like this. You drag the little square-shaped point onto the circular one, so it doesn't interfere with our next point. If you have the hang of it, feel free to skip to the next step, but otherwise continue to watch until you are familiar with it.
Another thing to note is that at any time you lose your path for some reason, you can go to the Paths dialog box, which if you don't have, you can get by going to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, then Paths. Then just click the I symbol and click on your path with your tool. Make sure your last point is right over the first, and now that you have your path completed, you can go and click the Selection to Path button right here, which does exactly as the name implies. With our selection now, we can go up to Edit and Cut. Close your canvas and create a new one, and GIP will recognize the dimensions of your render, so no cropping is needed. Simply paste onto the new document, and you're done. This concludes this tutorial, so post any questions you might have in the comments below, and see you next time.